Uh, questions and answers. Shalom. Hey, Elder. How are Shalom. you? Shalom. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm blessed by the best, and his name is Ohio. Hey, all right now. This is Lanessa Terry calling from Wisconsin. Now, I had a quick question. I do remember it was one of your broadcasts that you talked about. When well, someone called in and they asked if it was okay for us to celebrate our born days. Yeah. Is it okay for us to celebrate our born days? Well, I remember you saying like, long as we not. Well, 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 what? The, Go well, ahead. Okay, give me your example of celebrating your birthday. What that entails. Roll it out. Okay. Um, getting together with the family, a dinner, and uh, probably doing a little lip singing or something. Hey, or something. You know, I'm the one you call James Brown the other two. Hey. So. Okay, so <laughs> does that does that entails a cake and blowing out the candles? Yep, with no candles. Then. No, 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 no candles. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no candles. Okay. No candles, no hat, none of that. I didn't even do it with my kids when they was growing up. I just did them cake and ice cream. No, no candles, none of, okay. none of that stuff. All right. See, see, I'm just be trying to make sure because I don't want to. All right, you so, know. So we have to understand this. All right, let me put this out there. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. In Jeremiah 44 and 19, see, the Bible says, "Where there's no law, there's no transgression." Right. So there is nothing in right. particular in the law that says that you cannot come together and make a feast to celebrate the day you came to be. Uh, so there's nothing okay. in it that says that, right? But we must be careful. Right. You must be careful when it comes to uh, pagan ritual, right? Okay. Because now, then you have to ask, mm -hmm. where does the cake candle, where does all that come from? Where does those hats they have come from every birthday that, that we purchase to put on our children's heads? Well, these hats are wizard mm -hmm. hats. They, they're wizard hats or magic hats, Um right so that part mm -hmm. is goes straight to ancient pagan uh uh druidism so they infuse all this other mm -hmm. stuff that had nothing to do with you just coming together and saying i thank the most high for another year here with my, me and my family a day of appreciation for giving me another okay. year right so you're not going to have the hats and all right. those things right where does the cake come from no where does the cake come from? Let me show you this. Uh, bop, bop, bop. Jeremiah 44. Let's get it here. Right? It says here, uh, this is speaking of Semiramis, the queen mother of heaven, the, the, the virgin mother that's really celebrated in the Catholic Church today. Right. Okay. It has nothing right. to do with that. That's not Mary. Okay. That's an ancient Semiramis, uh, uh, the mother of Nimrod slash Talmud. Uh, Jeremiah okay. 44 and 19 says, and when we burn incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her? without our men. So when you go into the research of this, and this is why they call America the daughter of Babylon, she have intertwined old, old ancient Babylonian rituals in our everyday traditions. And that's what we have to be careful with. Um, right? So, okay, no more cake. No, no, yeah, no cake. listen, listen. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the, the history on the cake every year on okay. one, on one's birthday. Uh, they would go into mm -hmm. the temple where the priests were. That's your wizard hats. And they would, they, they would have, of course, there was no electricity. They would have a candle mm -hmm. on the cake and they'll sit it before the foot of what they call the Virgin Mary today. Like you see the Catholic church does burning candles. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And they would make a wish before her holding the Yule virgin child. They would make a wish and blow out the candle and leave the cake for her. Right? And mm -hmm. there was a superstition that if you didn't do this once a year, that a superstition where the demons would haunt you for a full year until you make penance to the mother. See? Oh, wow. So the whole tradition mm -hmm. of people coming together are intertwined with those rituals. So understand you put everything else mm -hmm. to the side. If you want to get together on a day you, you were born, there's nothing evil about that. As long as you're not intertwining Babylonian rituals and all that stuff with it. You got it. You must know okay. the history and all that. Yeah. All right. Got yes. it. Yes. And guess what? It's mm -hmm. not. It, it yes. is, it is, so listen, much. it isn't unlawful to eat cake either. Cake mm -hmm. in of itself, it's just cake. Right. But understand okay, right. what you're dealing with. Right. All right. And, un, and, and, you know, so the well, Bible says where there's no sin, there's no transgression. It, it's best to have the knowledge okay. of what you're doing it, not just doing it because it's tradition and take all the evil traditions out of the way. And if you want to appreciate the day you came to be with your family, have a regular dinner. Sit down and have a nice dinner. That's it. Right. All right. There's nothing right. wrong with that. And play good, good music. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Bye. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> shallow. Shallow. All right. Stressing and wondering